Hey guys, I have a new book review for you today, and that is on Witch and Wizard by James Patterson and Gabrielle Charbonnet. Just gonna get started and talk about what Witch and Wizard is all about. Wit and Wistie Allgood are having a normal night, Wistie is sleeping, Wit is up. Suddenly a group of soldiers come into their house and say that they are under arrest for being a witch and a wizard. They don't know what they're talking about. They're certainly not a witch and a wizard, to, according to them. But then, at the worst possible moment, Wisty bursts into flames, and Wit creates a tornado. So, they are thrown into jail. And the New Order, which is the people who are arresting them, tell their parents that they can give their kids one thing each. And Wisty is given a drumstick, and Wit is given a book by his dad. And they're just kind of like, a book? A drumstick? Really? So they're thrown into a jail and find out that a bunch of other kids are in the same situation. Wit's girlfriend, who was kidnapped a few weeks earlier, is showing up in his dreams all the time now, and he is convinced that he will see her soon. So one day, someone comes in and tells them that they're about to go on trial with the one who judges, and they're going to be judged. In this world, there are people and their names are the one who is the one, whatever the one is, the one who judges, the one who cooks, there's not really a one who cooks but you get what I mean. So Wit and Wissy are found guilty at the trial, not really being able to have a fair trial in their eyes, and they are thrown into a state asylum because they can't be executed until they're 18. So they are going to go there until they're 18. There are a lot of things that happen there. They meet the visitor and the matron, and those are people who pretty much just pop up unexpectedly to give them random little depressing announcements. There's a lot of near-death situations, and I would say that is one of the points where the plot takes off. It really takes off and twists a lot during the book about three or four times. They're thrown into different situations. So the two main characters in this book are Wit and Wistie Allgood. The chapters alternate between their perspectives. It's not like two chapters for Wistie, two chapters for Wit. You don't know what you're going to get for the next chapter. They're pretty random, and a lot of times I would have to go back in the chapter to see who was narrating because I found it really hard to keep track of who it was. Their voices are really similar, and really I might have read a few chapters not knowing who was talking. The characters were actually developed really well in this book. They grow as people and learn that everything they've been taking for granted is now gone and they are just fighting to survive and find their parents. This book is really underrated. Everyone seems to hate this book for some reason. It's really not that bad. It has a good story, kind of hard to keep track of, but it's a good story and I don't know why everyone hates them. The short chapters are really helpful, and I love this about James Patterson's writing, how he makes the chapters one or two pages, pretty much at the most four. You don't have that feeling where you have to finish the chapter right now, and then you'll finish another chapter later. Really, if you plan on just reading one chapter, you'll end up reading five, because the chapters all end in a cliffhanger with some dramatic line. I really like the way how everything comes together for them slowly, they begin to solve the puzzle and the cliffhangers at the end. They really go through a big adventure trying to figure everything out and get their parents back and escape the asylum so they are not killed. And they're also trying to figure out why they are a witch and a wizard and how everything in this new world works. Witch and Wizard is really like the New Order is trying to set up a dystopian society. And I really like how they did that because everything is different from normal dystopian books where everything has been going on like this for thousands or hundreds of years. We get a new perspective in these books that there was a time when the world actually had to end and people started trying to change things. And the people who rebelled and Wit and Wisty are the people who rebelled and are trying to stop this dystopian society from becoming real. So that was really interesting to see it that way. Now for the cons. The authors of this book need to stop trying to sound like teenagers. The things that Wit and Wisty say in this book, or that anyone says in this book, most teenagers would be embarrassed to have said. They don't say, 
how do you like that stinking pile of poo, or whatever Byron said. And they don't say bro and sis and WTH. No one says WTH. When I was reading this, I felt like I was reading a children's book instead of a teen book. Because they don't say the stuff that teenagers would say. These don't sound like 17 and 15 year olds. They sound more like, I don't know, 10 year olds? Allow me to read you a selection from chapter 33. Maybe I could float out the air shaft, I said, looking at the tiny dark window above my head, then picturing myself dropping down it many floors to the bottom and getting pulverized by the turbine below. Maybe we can snap our fingers and a golden staircase will appear out of nowhere with angels singing and pointing the way to the escape, Wit said glumly. Or maybe we'll just grow wings and fly out of here, I snorted. Yeah, kids with wings, that's likely. Wait a minute. <laughs> Silly me, wrong book. Oh wait, no it's not. Really, James Patterson, you put in a Maximum Ride reference? It would have been less obvious if Wistie hadn't put so much emphasis on the I snorted, yeah, that's likely. Kids with wings, pshh! Never seen anything like that before. Of course she didn't say that, exactly. It kind of felt like this story was made up as it went, and sometimes that's not a bad thing, but in this case it probably would be because things are just randomly thrown in and a lot of chapters end with a near-death experience just like in Maximum Ride and after a while that really starts to get old and if you have a near-death experience at the end of every other chapter then no one is gonna expect you to die it takes out the suspense when they put it in there every chapter overall though it was a pretty good book there were some cons, definitely, if you can oversee them. It's really good, the pacing and the characters and the plot. And the idea, really, is kind of fresh and new, kind of. It really made the characters think about everything that's being taken away from them and everything that they took for granted in their life. Really, the scary thing of having everything change and having a new group of people trying to take over the world and turn it into a dystopian society pretty much ruled by the new order so hopefully they stop that I am reading the second book The Gift right now and it is by James Patterson and Ned Russ this time guess he didn't like Gabrielle <laughs> I'm about six chapters in and those of you who have read any James Patterson book know that six chapters is really uh, about 17 pages, so, right, and it's actually five chapters. But anyway, yeah, this is my next book. I will try to have a review of it up in about a week. That's how long it took me to read Witch and Wizard. It was really a quick read. Only took me five days, and that's with school and my obnoxiously unpredictable schedule. So with that being said, guys, I'm going to give Witch and Wizard by James Patterson and Gabrielle Charbonnet a... I almost said a readable rating. Wow. I'm going to give Witch and Wizard a 3 out of 5 stars. Definitely worth checking out. I would probably recommend the Maximum Ride series before this, though. Not because it has anything to do with it, but because it's better. There are some books that I would probably recommend before it, but if it sounds good to you, it probably will be, because it's actually pretty good. It's just not the best. Just getting that out there. It was okay. And I hope the rest of the series is just as good or better. Let's go for better. So I'm going to go have a good week and bye.